The Church of Uganda has today organized a children's service to mark Uganda Matters Day celebrations at Nachianja in Namgongo. The service, presided over by the Bishop of Ankole, Fred Sheldon Mwesigwa, attracted children from different dioceses from across the country. The Day of Prayer started with a victory march from Charlie Wajala to the Anglican Prayer Center. The bishop appealed to parents to always encourage their children to grow in Christ. We have another one who is 100 years old. He got saved when he was young. When you get saved, you live longer. But you tell me, there is no witch doctor that I know and I've ever had who can live beyond the age of 80. If he's there in your home where you came from, bring me the data. This event was aimed at enabling children also get a chance in participating in the Uganda Matters Day celebrations. And as we know, the big event is also happening on 3rd June. But the big event is difficult to have children because they get lost, they get uh, no food, nowhere to sit. But when it happens earlier, the children can come, celebrate, dance around because they know. We really thank the church so that it has given an opportunity to our kids to also come and celebrate the Uganda Matters Day, separated with the elder ones, because the other time it took long for our kids to learn more about the about the Namugongo Matters Day and the matters. Reverend Richard Rukundo, coordinator of Youth and Children Affairs in the Church of Uganda, has stressed the need to engage children in the Uganda Matters Day celebrations. So we as a church have to generally bring the children to nurture them into that faith because we know that these children will grow in future to become the leaders, become the Christian leaders who want to know the Matters Day and its significance in their lives. Besides the child pilgrims, there are other events which are organized by the Church of Uganda ahead of the Matters Day celebrations. Tomorrow we shall have the youth from also the Church of Uganda. They will be here for the same function and they will be taken through through different sessions from morning at 8 up to 4 p.m. Then on 2nd of June, we shall have men and uh, women's conference. Also, it will happen here, and they'll be taking th them through now the value of a family vis-a-vis -vis the faith of matters. According to the organizers at the Protestant side, the first group of pilgrims are expected to reach Namugongo tomorrow. <laughs>